and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about methods um, as we continue to work on our object-oriented programming with Python 3. So what is a method? Well, a method is a function that lives inside the class that takes an instance object. So what's an instance object? Well, an instance object is the class itself, right? So classes, we create objects, correct? So <clears throat> with the function, the first argument inside the class would be self, which makes it an instance object. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, an example here of a method, all right, and how we would call a method and how we create a method. And now I'm going to show you... Um, uh, another class that has a function inside it that's not considered a method all right so you guys can tell the difference between methods and know how to work with them so let's get started uh, let's create a class we're gonna call it math all right so we're gonna perform some math here and I'm gonna create a, f uh, a method if you will uh, we're gonna define the function and we're gonna call this addition all right, and it's going to first argument it's going to take for it to be a method is a self. So it's this, the instance of the class. All right, and we're going to pass two more arguments. We'll do uh, X and Y. All right, and then in here we're going to do uh, self dot result equals um, X plus Y. And then we're going to return uh, self dot result. All right. So like I was saying before, for it to be a method, it needs to take an instance of the class. So self self makes it that instance. All right. So we got self here, self here, self here. All right. So that makes it the instance. Well, actually, technically, this one makes it the instance of the class. All right. And then we're calling self dot result. Um, and we're saving our addition to that. And then down here, we're going to return self dot result. All right. We're going to add one more method here. Um, to show you that you can have multiple methods contained in the class. And this one's going to be define subtraction. All right. And it's basically going to be set up the same way. Self, X, Y, like that. And then we're just going to do self dot result. Oops. Result is equal to X minus Y. And then we're going to do return self dot result. All right. <clears throat> so... How do we call a method? Well, there's a couple ways we can do it, but the most easiest way to do it would be create a variable to hold that um, class and then call that class via the variable. So let's go ahead and say a is equal to math like this, and you need your parentheses. And then we're going to do a dot addition, and we'll say five, uh, let's do 10 and 7, all right? And we get 17 and we can also do a dot um, subtraction was the other one we did and do the same numbers 10 and 7 and there we go uh, we got th 17 and 3 so if we add 10 and 7 we get 17 and 10 minus 3 or 7 is 3 uh, so basically these are methods all right and we use methods quite often when um, programming with Python. Um, we also used a lot of them in in creating our uh, working through our tutorials, like when we use the string methods, like capitalize or uh, find or r find or index stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at what would not be a string method. So I'm going to go ahead and create a um, another class and it's going to be the same as the above class that we just did um but this one's going to be uh slightly different and it doesn't clarify or it doesn't classify itself as a method so class math all right and then we're going to do define addition and we'll say x comma y all right and then we'll say result is equal to x oops, plus y and then we'll return result. All right. <clears throat> so looking at this, there's something slightly different. We're not using self as the first argument in the function. All right. And we're not calling self on result at all. 
All right. Now, this is not a method because it's not inheriting from the class or it's not a class or an object instance. That's the word I'm looking for. So how do we call this? So we can do a is equal to math. And if we call it the same way we did up here and hit return and then I say a dot addition and I say 10 comma 7 up addition takes two positional arguments but it was given three so when we add this uh these two parentheses to the class right here basically we're saying we want the instance of that class all right and when we pass that it's actually gonna go ahead and pass self self so it's actually inserting self right here and that's not going to work in this case because we don't have self where is it right here in our um in our function so that's not going to work so how do we work around this i'm going to clear my screen real quick so since it's way down at the bottom and we're going to do a is equal to math again but we're going to let out leave out the parentheses and then we're going to say a dot addition and then we'll do 10 comma 7. all right just like that and we get 17. because we don't want to pass self to the um to the 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 uh, function it's not a method right now so a function inside the class all right so this is not a method but the previous one was a method if you guys have any questions about methods please let me know otherwise don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel i'll see you in the next tutorial later